Alexa, let's chat. Welcome to the first episode of Emora Demonstration. Emora is a conversational AI-based chatbot developed by the Natural Language Processing and Information Retrieval Labs at Emory University. My name is Gino Choi, and I'm an assistant professor of computer science. I'm James Finch, and I'm a second year PhD in the computer science department. And my name is Sarah Finch. I'm also a second year PhD in the computer science department. In this video series, we are going to demonstrate new exciting features about MRA and the limitation of the current technology behind conversational AI, AI general. So the reason, one of the main reasons we're working on this conversational AI project is because we're participating in the Alexa Prize competition. Um, so Sarah, why don't you give the audience a summary about what the Alexa Prize competition involves? So the Alexa Prize competition is a competition hosted by Amazon, where there are 10 different university teams all trying to build the most engaging and human-like chatbot possible. This is the third year that Amazon is hosting this competition. And starting in December, anyone will be able to download the Let's Chat skill and talk to any of the chatbots created by these different university teams. So as Sarah said, um, you know, this uh, Alexa Prize competition has already been hosted for um, three years previously. Um, but that's not to say that there isn't still a lot of work to be done um, in social chatbot research, or obviously, or else you know, we wouldn't be doing this. So um, maybe what we can do is start off with a demonstration of what the limitations of uh, previous systems are. Um, so actually, Jean Ho, um, do you want to give uh, your famous examples of um, <laughs> demonstrating? Yeah, um, Yeah. let's try. Um, so currently, Echo can um, bring up the last year's conversational AI-based chatbots. So we can actually start directly talking into it. So Alexa, let's chat. Welcome to the Alexa Prize, a university competition to advance AI. I'll get you one of the social bots now. When you're done, say stop. Hi, this is an Alexa Prize social bot. I don't think we have been properly introduced. What's your name, my friend? Bob. Hey, Bob. I'm happy to meet you. I'm not sure if we've talked before, have we? No. Really? That's great. Let's get to know each other. Hmm, how is it going? I just bought a big house. No! Bob, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> I hope everything will be okay soon. Hmm, what would you like to talk about? Let's I... say celebrity, games or fashion, or anything else? I just bought a big house. I should be happy. Bob, let me ask you, what's your favorite sense? Touch, sight, taste, Alexa, smell, stop. Or so that was one. <laughs> Quick question. On a scale Alexa, of five stop. Star, there was one Alexa, demonstration. Try another social bond. Just say, Alexa, let's chat. Wow. Um, yeah, there was one demonstration of Alexa not being so understandable for common reasoning, common sense reasoning. Mm. Let me demonstrate one other example. So that was an example I tried to uh, say, I bought a new house, I bought a big house. So it's something the normal response for humans are congratulations or where is the house? How big is the house kind of thing. But Alexa just had no idea what I was talking about. Let me actually show you another um, example that we have been testing out. Alexa, let's chat. Welcome to the Alexa Prize, a university competition to advance AI. I'll get you one of the social bots now. When you're done, say stop. Hi, this is an Alexa Prize social bot. It's really good to meet you. Do you want to tell me your name? Mike. Hi, Mike. How are you doing today? My grandma just died. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Hopefully chatting with me will make you feel better. So, I'm a huge movie fan. Do you like to watch movies? My grandma just died. I don't want to watch movie. Ooh, I'm excited to talk about movies. So, um, have you seen any movies lately? Alexa, stop. So that shows how the current chatbots, the state of the state of the art chatbots are reacting to our conversation. 
So, um, James, do you want to talk about the limitation to this chatbot? Yeah, so I think one of the main limitations that's really obvious is that um, this conversation with the current social chatbots is almost entirely driven by the chatbot itself. There's very um, little wiggle room for uh, the user to actually determine uh, where the conversation goes. So. Uh, I mean, I think during the demonstration, you tried to talk about your house and your grandma, mm -hmm. and uh, the chatbot's constantly trying to, um, you know, it, it might it might respond, um, you know, within a single sentence, you know, mm -hmm. uh, appropriately, but then it immediately tries to sort of divert the conversation mm -hmm. back towards uh, something that is more information oriented. Um, and uh, something that it's it's sort of uh, better equipped to handle with this mm -hmm. uh, sort of template-based um, logic. Right, and the chatbots are almost hopeless unless it recognizes some famous names too. So it is indeed very good at recognizing famous names. And as soon as it knows some uh, names that it knows, it can talk about those stuff. Sarah, do you want to show some of these examples? Yeah, so let's go through an example right now showing how uh, these previous chatbots are really good at answering questions on entities and people that they know in the real world. Alexa, let's chat. Hi, this is an Alexa Prize social bot. I'm glad to meet you. Do you want to tell me your name? Mike. Hi, Mike. How are you doing today? I'm good. Let's talk about movies. Ooh, I'm excited to talk about movies. So, um, have you seen any movies lately? What are some movies that are out right now? Let me take a look. Cool. Joker is currently playing. Terminator, Dark Fate and Maleficent. Mistress of Evil are also in theaters now. Which movie do you still want to talk more about? Let's talk about Joker. Oh, Joker? Interesting choice. That reminds me that the Joker, played by actor Cesar Romero in the 60s television Batman show, refused to shave his mustache so they painted over it. Who plays the Joker in the current movie? Okay. Hmm, I guess I never thought about this before. What do you mean? So, that was interesting, right? <laughs> so he knew how to answer certain questions, but as soon as the search query becomes more complicated, it kind of gets lost. Um, we didn't demonstrate, but it's really good at finding people's names. Like If you ask who is Donald Trump, it will give you the whole Wikipedia <laughs> information of this. So Alexa is good at doing certain things, but it's not really necessarily making a conversation. Yeah. And at the same time, you can also see that um, sort of the shallowness of understanding in these current chatbots, um, because uh, during the demonstration, for example, um, it's really good at picking up at certain uh, named entities. Like um, if you talk about a movie, then it can pick that out very well. Um, but then the actual conversation sort of boils down to um, the chatbot recognizing that you want to talk about some entity, you know, such mm -hmm. as a movie or, or whatever it is. Um, and then it sort of gives you an information dump and then about that entity and then asks you another targeted question so right. that it sort of tries to pigeonhole you into this um, information based question answering framework. Right. Yeah. And I think this is something that um, in uh, this year, in our current project, we're trying to get away from. Um, we're uh, looking to, um, you know, not just be a, sort of an information desk with our chatbot, but to really try to tackle some of the some of the social aspects of conversation. So that really brings the important question: What do we want to do with Emra? Why we're actually developing Emra? What do we need to be different from other kind of chatbots? So our slogan, uh, our the important point of the MRA is we want to develop a true social chatbot. So the chatbot should care for you. It should not be talking about themselves. It should be talking about you. And it should understand what you're trying to do. And it should understand what you feel. And it should try to make a conversation to make you feel better. That's the true meaning of the social companion. So that's kind of the chatbot that we like to develop, and we're gonna work hard on this. So 
And going along with that, one thing that is more kind of tangible and real to do is that when somebody is speaking with you, you often are thinking of your own experiences and your own kind of related uh, topics of conversation based on what they're saying. So one thing that we really want to make sure that our chatbot this year is able to handle is that it has its own uh, personality and its own preferences in order to kind of connect with you on a more human deep level and relate what you're saying back to things that it can share its experiences with you about. So what sort of things will um, Emra, you, you know, you say that Emra might have its own preferences and personality. Um, what sort of things are we looking to include in that personality? Um, so what we're looking to include in terms of preferences and personality for Emra is that for many of kind of the more general uh, topics of conversation that you have with other people, mm -hmm. like movies or maybe even music and food and your hobbies, we want Emra to be able to um, have these types of um, ideas in mind as to which of the different movies and the different hobbies that she personally enjoys and have certain reasoning behind why she likes things uh, one way versus the other. So I believe that's the key. A lot of chatbots right now even have their own preferences. It's not too difficult to make them having the preferences, but many of them actually don't have the reason why they like it. And the preferences can also change over the time too. And all these chatbots usually stick with the preference that were hard-coded. But this time, we want to actually have the MRA dynamically adapting the preferences as it talks to other people. And also, it must have a clear reason why it likes certain things over the other, or is not dislike um, so certain thing over the others, too. So, um, having... The social bot having its own preferences and personality is definitely one component to enabling this sort of social mm -hmm. uh, conversation that we're looking for. Um, however, there's, uh, th there is another component to it, um, which is what uh, we term common sense reasoning. So um, even in the demo we showed, um, you know, I, I think you, Jean Ho, were um, you know, trying to make a conversation about your house. And humans know um, that when someone uh, buys a new house, that that's sort of this big mm -hmm. life milestone. Um, and so all humans would sort of um, typically congratulate each other mm -hmm. on, um, you know, if that's what you were to say to another human being. Um, however, it's actually really difficult for, um, for an artificial intelligence to do this. Um, and just to sort of make the point, you can imagine if the user says, um, I just bought a house versus saying like I just bought um, like something mundane like I just bought a pencil. Um, mm -hmm. there, it's it's a very similar um, sort of sentence that you're saying. However, um, j just that distinction of a single word. Mm -hmm. All humans know that oh, one um, is kind of worthy of congratulations, and the other doesn't you know doesn't hardly matter. Mm -hmm. And so this sort of common sense is um, something that we really hope to um, enable Emra with, so that. Um, she's able to make these sort of uh, social conversations and be on the same page as the mm -hmm. people that she's talking to. So, um, does Emra talk at all right now? <laughs> so we do have a current build of um, Emra, and maybe Sarah can demonstrate, um, you know, what what our what our current build of Emra is, even though. Um, you know, we still have obviously a lot of work to do. So even before demonstration, Sarah, uh, what kind of technology is Emra using right now? So currently, Emra is hosted by the AWS services offered by Amazon using the Cobot framework that Amazon actually created and gave to all of the teams. Uh, our current build of Emra is pretty early in production. It currently just focuses on the same type of information oriented uh, capabilities that we've been discussing that previous chatbots have been able to do. And we, use, we accomplished this by using the EV framework, which was also another thing provided to us by Amazon. So let's demonstrate what our current information kind of oriented chatbot can do. Alexa, open Atlanta chatbot. Hi, this is an Alexa Prize social bot. What would you like to talk about? What's your name? I cannot really tell you my name, but I am flattered that you want to know. What's your favorite movie? The Empire Strikes Back is my all-time favorite. It's impressive. What else would you like to know? What are other Star Wars movies? 
Here are the Star Wars movies in order of release date. Star Wars, Episode 4, A New Hope. Star Wars, Episode 5, The Empire Strikes Back. Star Wars, Episode 6, Emperor of the Jedi. Star Wars, Episode 12, Avengers. Star Wars, Episode 2, Star Wars, Episode 3, Star Wars, Episode 4, Star Wars, Episode 7, Star Wars, Episode 8, Star Wars, Episode 8, Star Wars, Episode 8, Star Wars, Episode 8, Um, so that was interesting. <laughs> uh, right now, it's more acting like a search engine, I guess, right? Yes, it's more acting like a search engine right now, our current build of Emera. So it, it's very good at spreading out all the information, but mm -hmm. not necessarily still trying to make a conversation. Yeah, so this is a challenge that um, obviously we've outlined in also the previous systems and um, our current build of the system is very much in the same vein. Um, however, we're working really hard um, to actually develop the social and common sense reasoning capabilities of EMRA. And I actually think in, um, in the next episode, um, we'll be actually um, demonstrating <laughs> are um, some new components of our system that are actually capable of, of holding uh, this more social conversation. So that was the whole motivation behind this video series. Uh, we wanna show how bad our current technology is at the moment, but at the end of this series, hopefully we can impress you by newer technology of conversational AI. That was for the first episode. In the following episode, we are going to show new exciting features about Emra. So we're days away from integrating some common sense reasoning to Emra, so you, you'll be able to see that in the next episode. And the other thing that we're going to demonstrate in the next episode is Emra's own personality and preferences. Remember, Emra cares for you. <laughs> Bye! Bye! <laughs>